Hey everybody, we're coming to you live from Sandstown Bowling Center. We're here with the Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour. I'm Kevin McHugh, here with Vern, Varz, uh, excuse me, Vern, Ver, Vern Azaro. Good show. President of Southern Nevada, USBC. And also, got a new feature for you guys. Down in the pits, we've got Phil Placco live with the, ch with the kids. Phil, how you doing? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I we can. You. All right, getting better. Ben, this was a great idea. <laughs> this is a great idea. So we had an amazing match earlier. Mason Snow came out, bowled a 278. He was open in the first frame, struck 11 strikes after that, finishing 278. Mason, your D bowler on lane five. Ooh, okay. That was probably one of the most impressive games on some of the hardest patterns. 278, just 268, though. So. Burn, thanks again for sitting in with our main man, Kevin. Now that everything's working good. That's okay. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> so this is the semi-final match. So Kevin and Vern are working on some stuff back there. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we're good oh, to yeah. go, Phil. Thanks for All jumping right. in there. I'm turning it off. Okay. So everybody, let's get you up to date. In the varsity division, semifinals, we've got Mason Snow. Bowling right now is JP. He is your C bowler, lane six. Starting off with a strike. In the JV section for semifinals, you've got Steve Abraca. He's your B bowler. And you've got Briggs Robinson, your A bowler. Steve's on lane six. Right, Steve's coming off of a spare in his first frame. Let's see what he's got here on this. Vern, make sure you step in and help out all you can. All right, Steve, stay and clean. Clean through to your B bowler. Ooh. Briggs did just leave it open. Let's see what he's got coming up on the third frame. Your C bowler, JP Griffin. He'll be coming up on lane five. Right now we've got Mason Snow, lane six. Little Brooklyn there, but hey, he'll take it. Hey, so Vern, want to appreciate you. Thank you for stepping in, coming down here on short notice. How are you doing? What have you uh, What have you seen today? What do you, What do you think? I uh, see a lot of our good youth just being awesome out there, having fun, and knocking down an awful lot of pins. Yes. We have uh, what looks like two two-handed bowlers and two traditionals. But I also see an awful lot of splits that just part of the game, the ugly part of the game. Yes, it is. Definitely. De definitely going to be harder after 278, 268. Yeah, let's give a little, uh, little congratulations to Mason with that 278. He put up a great game. But I also want to give a congratulations out to S Seth Stovall. He uh, came second at, with a 268. Yeah, they both got up in the 10th frame and threw some good shots. Okay, your B bowler, Steve. He is on third frame. He's clean so far. Let's see if he can pick this up. Oh, 
Okay, got it. Nice job, Steve. I'll uh, jump in once in a while. This is a semi-final match. In the finals, the leader in the varsity was Tyler Castronova. And in the JV, Xavier Robinson. Great shot. All right, Mason Snow, third frame. Picked up eight right there. Let's see if he can finish off with a spare. So, Vern, I wanted to ask you, traditional or two-handed? How do you like to roll it? Um, I'm too old to be two-handed. Oh, you're never too old. flat <laughs> on my face if I tried to throw a two-handed ball. <laughs> Pretty much traditional. Okay. Um, I don't get to bowl as often as I'd like, but I have an awful lot of fun doing it. And I'm just a believer that I throw the ball. If it strikes great, if it doesn't, hey, it's still coming back. I get to throw another one. Great. Nah, bowling's a great sport. It's great to see all this youth out here bowling, too. Want to make note, Briggs right now bowling on lane five. Briggs, your A bowler. This is his first LVYBT, and he's in the semifinals. So congratulations. Good bowling, Briggs. Let's see what you got in the rest of this game. See what ball he's throwing? It's a lot of pressure on these kids coming out here. First time in the tournament environment. And LVYBT, Las Vegas Youth Bowlers, we welcome that. We love to get everybody out here, all of our Southern Nevada bowlers, all of our Northern Nevada bowlers. We've got kids from Utah. We've got kids that come out from California. We've had kids come as far as uh, the Philadelphia area, so you're always welcome to come bowl. Please check us out at LVYBT. You can see our schedule. Bricks, he's throwing a he's throwing a plastic ball. JP stepping up, lane five. Your C bowler. He's clean through three strike spare strike. Let's see what he's got. Nine right there, leaving the seven pin. Vern, was there anything that you noticed about that shot? Anything about these two-handers that kind of stands out? No, I think they're all powerful young kids. I mean, they, they, the, the revolutions they get on these balls sometimes are just utterly amazing for their ages. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see what's going to happen when they grow up and become a full adults out here. They're just going to be like sitting on the pro circuit earning a whole lot of money and that's one of the drawbacks you just saw where he missed a seven yeah sometimes that revolution gets just gets the better of you yeah no two-handers are notorious for having a high rev rate and uh you got to learn to control that that's why we always ask Steve them stepping to up traditional plastic. bowler they got a little insight on that one all right don't worry steve you do got a split but um I've seen you make this before. Let's see if you can do it again. Oh, Briggs over there. Almost got a little bit of a two-handed carry, we like to call. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 So we've seen two opens on lane five right there. It's a pretty tricky pattern. Ooh. All right. Oh, okay, okay. A little bit of the Fair. nerves catching up, but that's all right. No right-hander likes a 10-pin. Yeah, 10-pin, it's uh, It could be a little bit of a nuisance. Let's see, Mason's stepping up. Mason is bowling great, everybody. Let's see what he's got here. Look at that ball speed. That is a great release. Great job, Mason. He's got a powerful delivery. Doesn't have a full backswing, but at this point in time, what he's got is working. Oh, 
Okay. I think he was expecting something different the way he looked away from it. Yeah, I don't think he liked the way it came off of his hand right there, but uh, it rolled well. Okay. Mission accomplished. Yeah, right? Knock down the white things at the end of the lane. Yep. <laughs> Steve Abraka, your B bowler, coming off an open. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Gonna be out of range. Yeah. Yes, it is. That was an eight pin. Uh, it's got to stay where it is. They just have to get the dead wood off the lane. The only time it would go back to being eight is if they actually swept it. Vern, I appreciate the way you explained that. Sometimes these things happen, and having the USBC president down here, uh, it's easy to get at an accurate answer. Well, there are folks that actually honestly believe that the ball, the pin should go back to where it was, no matter what the situation is. But in this case, uh, you take the deadwood off the deck and you roll the ball at those two pins as they are standing there. As they are standing. Kind of nice having a, uh, a <laughs> official rule guy sitting behind us. And let me tell you, he knows it. So yeah, I'm having a deadwood removed you wanna put the from the lane All right. and the gutter. Hey everybody, let's jump in and give a big thank you to our sponsors. Original sponsor, Coolwick. They've been with us since the beginning, coolwick.com. Check them out for all your jersey, clothing, and shirt apparel. Don't forget to enter LVYBT10 for your discount. And Storm Bowling, the bowler's company. We appreciate everything Storm does. They donate a bowling ball to each tournament that LVYBT th has. And uh, thank you, Storm. They do a lot for the youth, and they're uh, leading the next generation. Visit stormbowling.com. Uh, Phil? Okay, guys, we've got a little downswing while we wait to get the deadwood cleaned up on lane six. Phil's taking care of it right now. It'll just take a short minute. Uh, Phil? F Phil? Need to change score up there. Not going to matter, but. Everybody tuning in. We appreciate you tuning in. This will just take a short minute. We want to get everything set up straight and keep the uh, game official. So, Phil Hill, let's jump back to you. Let's talk a little bit about the pattern that we bowled on today. I know we were on a junior gold, U12, U15, 40-foot pattern. Uh, give us a little breakdown on that. <laughs> Testing. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. So to go back to what you were saying, we bowled on this pattern Saturday morning Junior Gold League at the Santa Fe on a Brunswick surface that's 20 years old. Today we're bowling on AMF surface, yes. exact same pattern, way more friction. So totally breaking down. All, all of our two-handers through pretty much go ahead, urethane all day. So the, Really cool in a semifinal match to see a 270, 260. Probably not going to see that the rest of the day. Yeah. So oh, those were two great games. Definitely breaking down. Right. What's cool is Briggs is throwing a plastic ball. Mm -hmm. So he's been throwing heavy reactive stuff since he started. And I begged him today to throw plastic all day long. And he made the made the cut. So wait, you're telling me somebody listened to you and things worked out? Yeah. Hey, figure that, Phil. <laughs> yeah, Dad and Greg are laughing. Greg owes me about 50 push-ups, though. 50 push-ups? Maybe one Chick-fil-A sandwich? <laughs> now, Briggs has thrown the ball great. Glad he came out. This is a great first experience. Uh, we've got a six pin on six. Looks like we've got things cleaned up. We've got J.P. Griffin on lane five. Your C-bowler coming off a strike. 
A little Brooklyn there, a little two-handed carry, but he'll take it. Nice job, JP. I guess that's why they got two sides to the head pin. Yes. Get a strike either side. Hey, either side, exactly. Mason Snow. Ooh. Oh, got a little off on that. That's all right, Mason. Pretty funny, Steve. He picked up the wrong ball. Oh. And figured out he had the wrong ball in his hand. He goes by motive, Steve. Motive, Steve. Where's, okay. Obviously like found the right one. There we go, everybody. Wanted to pull up a couple uh, little breakdown of some of the bowlers that are going right now. Briggs, 13-year-old eighth grader from Cram Middle School. Like I said, it's his first tournament. Don't worry about that, Briggs. You've got plenty of more shots. Keep it clean. Keep rolling the ball and have a good time. Our other JV bowler, Steve, he's 12 years old. He's a seventh grader from Green Spun Middle School. Steve's bowled, uh, he's bowled quite a few LVYBTs. Great traditional bowler, doing a great job today. In the varsity division semifinals, Mason Snow, he is 15 years old, 11th grade, Silverado High School. And our oldest one of the bunch, JP, he just recently turned 18. Don't worry folks, he is safe, safe sport certified. He uh, recently moved to Las Vegas, moved from the Long Beach area out in California. Out there, he worked at a pro shop, so, uh, if you get a chance, talk to JT or JP. Excuse me. He's got a great bowling IQ. He knows quite a bit about the balls and uh, barely knowledgeable about the game. And he's on a turkey. So, Kevin. Go ahead, Phil. I heard you say earlier, traditional. What's traditional mean? <laughs> you know, I hang around these two-handers too much, and that. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on them. That's that's what they call it. So, uh, hey, but I bowl a traditional two. It's two-handed stuff. What are these guys thinking? <laughs> no, I'm just happy. Uh, anything that gets more kids out here, it's great for bowling. Great for the game. It's brought a lot of new bowlers, and uh, you can always see they're out there having a good time practicing. I think I just want to see some two-handers when they get to be 60 years old <laughs> yeah well you so, know what that's funny you bring that up uh they recently had camp bakes out here this was last week and there were two 60 year olds bowling two-handed at camp bakes awesome these gentlemen bowled three days it was uh four plus hours a day and uh they made it through it they did a good job a little bit different style but it is two-handed and uh, I think you'll see more of that. Mason Snow knocking those pins around. Your D bowler. He is coming off an open, striking the eighth. Let's see what he can do to finish this out. 18 miles an hour for Mason, throwing the ball well. Ooh. Let's not forget about JP. JP working on a four bagger? Yep. a boy. When JP finds something, uh, he knows how to stick with it. I'm sure Briggs is a little nervous. First TV show. I don't know. Dad's sitting right in front of you, so he's probably nervous also. Oh, yeah. I don't blame him. Look at this. Good wow. spare. Nice job, Briggs. Way to take care of that on your second shot. Steve. All right. Oh, 
Yeah, it's amazing to see the uh, ball speed difference between JV to varsity. Just a year or two, and these kids uh, jump up a couple miles per hour. Seventeen point nine five miles an hour at fifteen years old. Mason Snow stepping up for the seven pin to pick up his spare. Okay. JP Griffin, like I said, working on that four bagger. Let's see what he's got. A little bit left, but he uh, he picked it up. And Briggs. Striking the 10th for Briggs. We can go. Looks like Steve's got this one taken care of and he's uh, finishing with authority. Bowling really well, Steve. There you go, Briggs. Briggs has done a great job today. He really has. Really Give glad to have him out here. He's done a great job finishing strong like this in the 10th frame. Great bowling, Just to Briggs. to get him to be able to throw plastic. Yeah. And, and do what he's done. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. These patterns There's, aren't easy, guys. This isn't a house no. shot by any means. No, it's very flat. Uh, Max, it was three to one oil ratio. Uh huh. House shots, nine, ten to one. And we're scratch all day long, everybody. Las Vegas youth bowlers. Wow, great game, Steve. Two oh three. You've got Briggs finishing up with a one fifty. Briggs, you did a great job today. You got a lot to be proud of. Look forward to seeing you out here again, Steve. Fantastic job going plus three in that game, 203. He did have, uh, looks like, uh, two opens. And that's all right. He bowled really well. JP Griffin. Wow. JP, fantastic yeah. job. JP found something and he's in the zone. All right, JP Griffin, your C bowler. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six strikes in a row, everybody. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, we got a little outside, but it came back. Wow, very nice. Phil, give me a little feedback on uh, on what JP's got going on here. What did he find? Gotta have it. On what's that? Give me a little feedback on JP. Is what did he find? Well, he moved in a little deeper. Okay. Keep in mind, a lot of our kids were throwing urethane all day. Mm hmm So the middle part of the lane between third and fourth arrow, there's a nice shim there. Mm hmm And you can see that he's moved left right there. Opened up the lane, down lane. Nice 247. Yep. But His angles will... are really good to be able and to get away with that. Yeah, in addition to seeing him, we're gonna be seeing a lot of Mason in the future too. Absolutely. All right, everybody, let's not forget to jump back and say thank you to our sponsors, CoolWick at CoolWick.com. Check them out. They've got hundreds, if not thousands, of different jersey selections, jersey types. You can always find what you need. Don't forget to enter LVYBT10. Storm Bowling, the bowler's company. Thank you to Storm. They do a tremendous amount for our youth program. 
check out stormbowling.com. Check out their SYC Storm Youth Championship. And don't forget to visit stormbowling.com. All right, as we let the uh, finalists step up here to get a few practice shots in, I'm going to get some names filled in on my worksheet, and we'll be right back at you. Vern, feel free to jump in there and uh, give a little uh, your thoughts on uh, what's to come. Oh, I, this is the final. So I expect a lot of firepower. Of course, that's what we've been seeing all along anyway. One of the impressive things about this is just watching all the kids in the valley just get involved with the, this particular activity. Um, it's, um, you can earn all kinds of scholarships from pretty much uh, your leagues, these kind of tournaments. Uh, and, and we have something called the Above and Beyond Scholarship Award which I would like to see more kids get involved with. It's not a complicated thing, but locally, we provide a $2,500 scholarship to one boy and one girl each year. And uh, they don't have to go, it doesn't have to be for college. It can be used for pretty much anything that's educational related. Um, but the actual form is on our website, the Southern Nevada website which is at sonvbowl.com. And they can go on there, get the application, fill it in, and as long as they turn it in by April 1st, we're good. Um, and parents can help them get these things filled out. It may not seem like a lot of money, but $2,500 is $2,500. And that same child can also apply for the state uh, above and beyond, which is $2,000. So in theory, they could earn $4,500 out of the two scholarships in addition to everything they earn in their tournaments and leagues. Okay, that's great to know. And you're telling me there's not very many kids applying for this. So uh, if you're listening to this, if you're a parent or a kid, take advantage of this. $4,500 and go a long way. Vern, I appreciate you bringing that up. And I'm sure there's a lot more at Southern Nevada USBC. A lot more information, scholarship opportunities. Oh, yeah. In addition to that, um, if a kid's 14, he can actually uh, get involved with the youth committee activities and everything else. Uh -huh. And in theory, they could join the board. I'm not sure they want to do that, but they could. They could, okay. Uh, getting involved with the youth committee... Uh, help them plan the activities and everything. That's something they might enjoy doing. Yeah. So what do we have coming up here? Okay, in the finals, I'm still waiting for a little bit more information, but Steve did advance, Steve Abraka, advanced to the finals. This is, I believe is his first finals off the double check that, but I believe it is. He'll be facing Xavier in the varsity division. Tyler Castronova, very familiar face, very good bowler. He'll be going up against JP, who advanced out of the semifinals against Mason Snow. All right. I love this camaraderie. All these guys high-fiving each other. They're all happy to be here. Good sportsmanship. Good teammates. A lot of these kids know each other on a regular basis. They see each other. They're friends, and they realize... It's competition, but when it's over, we're still friends. Yes. All right, everybody, we are live. You are watching Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour. We are in the championship match. 
We've got Tyler Castronova, your C bowler, taking his first shot, lane five. Okay. He'll be going against JP Griffin. JP is your D bowler. He's taking his second shot on his first frame. He's got three to go. Nice job, JP, keeping it clean. See what Tyler's got. Tyler Castronova keeping it clean. I think we're in store for a very good game between Tyler and JP. JV division, Steve Abraca, your A bowler coming off of a strike. Picked up eight there, Let's see if you can keep it clean. Xavier Robinson, your B bowler. Got a little outside, okay. Let's see what he's got. He's working off of a strike. Picked up nine right there. Mr. FYI, a reminder. I'm here to help all kids. Tyler asked me. Mm -hmm. He changed, I had him change bowling balls. Playing a different part of the lane. Okay. JP's like, hey, Phil, you're coaching people? Our goal is to grow youth bowling to help kids and the parents when they ask for help I'm here to help yeah no and uh you do a lot of that phil i just want to say thank you you volunteer a tremendous amount of your time and uh you're i've seen it i've seen it with my own eyes for uh quite some time now thank you Okay, JP. What I would tell JP right now is to just slow it down a little bit and go find what you had just a little bit ago. It's still out there. You're rolling the ball well. Let's pick this up. Keep it clean. Xavier, B bowler, clean through three. Looking good. That's all right, JP. You're rolling the ball, ball well. I'm sure you'll bounce back from that. Steve, very nice, nicely done. Both JV bowlers clean through three. Both have gone strike, spare strike. This is gonna be a close match. Tyler Castronova, stepping up on lane five, your C bowler. Ooh, just a tab high. But sometimes you can get lucky in those. Other times, well, you leave a four pin. Yep, yep. Tyler rolling the ball 18.13 miles an hour. Ooh, JP got a little punch through. <laughs> Made a couple uh, physical changes with Tyler last couple weeks. Been practicing a lot. Go Coast, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday night. $15 for three hours of practice. Made, a, made some good changes. Nice shot. There you oh, go. Nice Talk about motivation. He don't need none. He's got that. <laughs> Xavier. These JV bowlers are rolling the ball very well. They're not nervous, they just want to win. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> no, I think we're in store for some great bull, and I think both of these matches are going to be very close. Much better. Come on. Uh, ball hooked.
JP, your D bowler. Lane five, coming off the spare. Okay, that could have been much worse. <laughs> Get this seven, pay, seven pin and walk away with a smile is what I'd say. Are you trying to say the 710 is worse than a seven? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just a little bit. Vern, how about you? Have you ever picked up the 710? I'm uh, not even close. <laughs> I look at spares and splits like I can make everyone except the 710. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean I do it. It just means I look at it like I know where to hit it. Yep. Uh, the 710 is, I think, is just pure luck when they do hit it, and I admire the people that have done it. Uh, me, I just don't ever expect to do it doesn't bother me too much other than the fact that the only way I seem to get to 710 is to throw something that looks like a nice strike ball. Really? Yeah, I don't throw something in the head. comes in on a strike and I leave 710. Okay. But that's the game. Yep. Yes, it is. Steve's got I don't think it. he believed he had that. Let's see. We got a little bit of a hold up on lane six. Thomas, can you come to the desk, Thomas? This is part of the game, everybody. Sometimes these things happen, these are machines. We gotta work with them when this happens. Hey, what a perfect time. Let's jump in here and give a big thank you out to Coolwick, one of our original sponsors. Please go to coolwick.com. They've got all your jersey apparel. And yeah. Coolwick, don't forget, they are 40% cooler than your competitors' jerseys. So uh, check them out, coolwick.com. Don't forget to enter LVYBT10. And Storm Bowling, the bowler's company. Storm Bowling doing a lot for our youth, doing a lot for the bowling community in general. Leading the next generation, as I like to call it. Thank you, Storm Bowling. Don't forget to visit them at stormbowling.com. Hey everybody, let's kick it off and let's check out some highlights. Phil, if we could get a little feedback from you on these highlights. Oh, excuse me. Phil's getting tied up for just a minute. All right, let's see those highlights, Ben. I believe this is one of our Utah bowlers. Appreciate them coming down. I'm a little far from the TV, so I can't catch their name on the back of their jersey. Nick Reese. Thank you, Ben. Brylan Reese. Rylan Breeze, excuse me. Sorry, Rylan. He looks familiar. I believe he was in the finals 2017 U12. Something like that. Yeah, I think I've seen that kid before. Little te technical difficulties on lane six, everybody. It'll just be a Down moment. Down there now. Oh, no, they got it fixed pretty quick. Let's get a recap of where we are at, everybody. We've got Xavier Robinson. He's clean through four, coming off of a double. See what he's got here in the fifth frame on lane six. Oh, I got a turkey now. Yeah, I believe He's that is a, a turkey. Tyler Castronova, your C bowler, coming off a spare, lane five. JP Griffin, working off of a spare, your D bowler. Got a little bit of left, found a little bit of friction down there. Oh.
Yeah, this is part of the game. Sometimes when these lanes break down and you get a little bit of a, a downtime for even a minute or two, it'll uh, it'll cause a little break in your rhythm. But it's uh, something that all these kids work on. I know they can bounce back. That's okay, JP. You got this. Xavier Robinson, clean through five. Let's see what he's got. Now, Xavier's ball. Tell me if you're seeing this, Vern. I'm thinking it's getting a little far outside, but it's getting back. It's coming back, and he's uh, he's he's getting a little too under carry, picking up strikes. He's got a uh, one, two, four right now. Got four in a row. There you go, JP. Shot. So Tyler moved left with a bigger ball, and he wants to miss left. Mm -hmm. He will not let the ball go at the 10 pin. But I said, watch. Watch what Steve's doing. Watch what our JV players are doing. How they're just slow hooking the ball left to right. Tyler's just throwing it too hard. Gotcha. That was a nice shot, Steve. So Tyler yeah, went back to his high road pearl and Anthony Simonson ball. Oh, okay. Hey, and speaking of that, let's give a big thank you to Anthony Simonson. He just donated 50 plus balls to the Santa Fe Youth Bowling League. So thank you, Anthony, a storm bowl, or excuse me, a roto grip bowler. Had a chance to meet him this last week. He's a very nice guy. There's a lot of people doing the right things for our kids. Bowlers Hoffman, helping youth bowlers. You know, one of those guys. Hey, Phil, can you let me know which ball is uh, Xavier throwing? Looks like he's throwing a Rubicon. I'll double check, though. Yeah, let me know about his strike ball. I know Tyler's throwing a, uh, he moved back to his high road pearl. Oh, no, it's not a Rubicon. It's a Brunswick ball. Ah, attitude. And Tyler moved back to his high road pearl, moved about five boards right, and he'll keep his ball speed up. Wow, very nice. Tyler working off of a double, your C bowler. We've got JP Griffin coming off of a strike, your D bowler. Let's see what you know. JP's got here. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Phil knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I would agree with you. Wow. The hardest part about this is putting the kids in the right part of the lane with the right ball based on what their physical game is doing today. Yep. Tomorrow we're bowling on 45-foot pattern. Mm hmm It'll be kind of the opposite. None Tyler of this won't will be able work. To throw it 18, 19 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So the trick is, from a coaching standpoint, what the kids are doing physically. That's where you put them in a part of the lane, zone-wise, ball and surfaces. Yep, absolutely. Well put, Phil. Thank you. Tyler Castronova. Nice shot, Tyler. Tyler rolls the ball great, man. He's a really high-level bowler for his age, 15 years old. JP Griffin working off a double. Your D bowler on lane five. Got the 2-8. Xavier got nine right there. Let's see if he can pick this up. This kid is good. He bowls a uh, league at Sunset, Sunset Station. Okay. So he works over there with uh, Howie, David, 
Preston Wilson. There Pretty good go. player. Motive Steve. All right, Steve, this is a makeable spare. This is a tight match. All these kids are bowling really well. Really appreciate them all coming out here. All the parents bringing yep. them down here, spending time at the bowling alleys. Samstown Bowling Center. Nice shot, Steve. Well done. Got an eight pin difference going to the 10. Vern, thanks for explaining the above and beyond program and for all of our kids. So we need to make sure that we're uh, hitting all these kids up on Saturday mornings and our LVYBT. Absolutely, tournament. these kids deserve it. Oh. Yeah. Tyler Castronova, four in a row. Your C bowler, well, keep an eye on him. One in doubt, he just throws it harder. Yeah, he doesn't mind doing that. <laughs> oh, wow. Avoids the split there. Oh, we're definitely going to have a new winner in a JV section. New LVYBT winner. Cool Wick shirt coming their way. Now it's to be. Tyler and uh, JP. There you go. I like the way he rolled that. Nice job, Xavier. Steve needs three pins. Steve, your A bowler. Are. Oh, there you go. Nice shot, Steve. That was a close match. Tyler Castronova. Uh, Tyler has closed this one out. JP. I think he knew that was a good shot. Finish it up in style. Tyler, he definitely found something after the turn. Six frame on. He's been clean. Let's see if he's got one more in him. Got a and JP, he's, he's rolled very out. well today. He rolled very well to get here into the finals. So great job, JP. Tyler finishes it off with a strike. Let's get a recap here, everybody. Looks like Steve Abraka, your A bowler with a 213. You've got Xavier Robinson in the JV division with a 203. You've got Tyler Castronova, 235. JP Griffin, 185. Let's take a quick moment to say thank you to everybody with Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour. Our founders, Ben Huffman. Phil Placco, Mike Ruiz, fundraising, Emily Viscara, thank you for everything you do. And our behind the scenes people, we've got John Zipka, AKA Zippy, always helping out, collecting money, selling raffle tickets. And he wasn't here today, everybody, but Roman Montoya also helping out with scores and everything. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow, buddy. Everybody, thank you for chiming in, viewing us, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Vern, thank you very much for attending. It was a pleasure having you. Hope Thank to see you, you here again Thank soon. Thank you. I really enjoyed this. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Coolwick.com. Visit them at coolwick.com for all your jersey and shirt apparel. Don't forget to enter LVYBT10. And Storm Bowling, the bowler's company. Storm doing a lot for our youth, doing a lot for Las Vegas Youth Bowlers Tour, donating the balls. Visit stormbowling.com. Thank you.